Noah, thank you for joining us today. Uh, can you hear us okay? Yeah, can you hear me? We can hear you. All right, we're going to roll straight into questions. If you have a question for Noah, raise your hand. We're going to get to as many questions as we can. And to kick us off, we're going to start with Marty. Go ahead, Marty. Thanks, Amanda. No, thanks for the time, man. Hope you're well. First off, I, I, I just got to ask, what are you doing in the fire suit? You got testing going on? Yeah, we we're out go karting right now. So nice. Uh, All right. So I got two for you here. Um, so first off, um, head into Mid Ohio. You've bet you've shown your strength of road courses. I know you got a road course to win back at Arca slash Canaan and Sonoma, but even though you're going to Mid Ohio this weekend, just what would a win mean on a road course in the top three series? Uh, it'd be great. It's something that we're working really hard for. Obviously, we're out training at GoPro Motorplex today, and um, we spent a lot of time with Josh Wise and the rest of the drivers in the Chevy program, uh, just trying to be better, better ourselves on road courses. And like you said earlier, we have a, a few wins in the K&N series and I guess now ARCA series. Um, so overall, I'm excited. We finished fourth with a really torn up race car last time. We went to mid Ohio and I uh, feel like I've become a better driver and uh and hopefully we'll be able to uh, to maximize this weekend and, and capitalize on the last time we were there. Is it? I know what the real what the word really is to ask you. Is it a little maybe frustrating that you've come close to a road course win? I know 2018 Canadian Tire uh, being close to the win there in the last corner, and then also the Roval at Charlotte last year, leading a bunch of laps there, come up as notable examples. So has it just been a little frustrating being that close to winning? A bit, but there's there's a lot of great drivers in our series. I mean, um, I feel like just trying to push as hard as I can and get everything out of the equipment. I was I was frustrated after um, the Robo just how many times I, I spun out and came back from last to finish second. But other than that, um, you know, just trying to be the best that I could be and, and maximizing out of the equipment that we're in right now. So um, the guy's been doing a great job and. We're really excited for this weekend coming up. Thank you, Noah. Good luck this weekend, man. Thanks, Marty. All right. Our next question will come from Claire B. Lang. Go ahead, Claire. Thank you. Hi, Noah. So, hi, Claire. Hi. So when you have a tough season or things get tough because who knows what happens, right? Then you go to an aggressive racetrack and – do you hold yourself back? Is it hard not to, you know, when you knew, you know, performance is so important, but the aggressive side of you is what makes you good, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't been aggressive because everyone's kind of been pulling me back here lately, but uh, I think we're getting pretty close to starting that back up again and just racing how I need to race. Do you not have to do that at a road course? Talk about Mid Ohio. Talk about what a road course takes. Yeah, you you, you don't really have to at a road course. Um, you know, maybe when it comes down to it, there might be some pushing and shoving. But you're more racing the racetrack itself and trying not to go off racetrack. I haven't really figured that, that part out of not how not to go off. But uh, I mean, it's it's road course racing. It's it's a lot of fun. You're you're dancing with the curbs and the S's and, and whatnot. And it's just, a, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, something that I love and, and we've had some good success on um, good finishes, but I want, I want to win on a road course that. You said you were bringing the aggressiveness back. Is that you who makes the decision or is someone else telling you to hold back? Are you holding yourself back? Have well, you been? I've been holding myself back. Just trying to stay out of trouble, st trying to stay out of the limelight um, through couple people have sat me down but uh they haven't been getting results so um it doesn't work for me yeah well good luck this weekend okay God, thank you that? that's alex <laughs> good luck this weekend all right thank you thank you yeah all right our next question will come from john newbie go ahead john thank you so obviously you have experience at Mid Ohio and other road courses, but without you know practice and qualifying this week, what does your week like look like as far as preparation? Is it more time in the simulator, more time at the go kart track? I mean, how do you balance that preparation? 
Uh, well, I was actually supposed to go out to uh, California for an Xfinity commercial um, today, but uh, that kind of got nixed. So, um, yeah, it's another another couple of days. Oh, another couple of days of uh, being able to um, spend time back here, get a couple more days in the gym, and then uh, and ultimately study for a few more days. So, um, you know, I don't know if practice really changes anything. Um, I, I enjoy no practice because it gives people an opportunity to learn the track more. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I'd rather – I do better when I can have a kind of have a rabbit out there and learn from uh, where the other guys are on the on the track and kind of see visually um, where I'm better than them. So I don't I don't really like practice. OK, I got you. Then my other question for you is with this being kind of a year where there have been some frustrating moments. What is your best method for, you know, shaking that off? Is it you know, like those long bike rides or just is there a different way to reset each week? Uh, that's a good question. I think, excuse me, sorry. Um, I don't know. I think just being around good friends and good family, um, is the, is the most important thing for me. It's, it's really not been our best year. Um, we've had a lot of good runs. I talked to Steve Post, um, a lot about this the other few weeks ago when we were in Darlington and had a good conversation with him. It's just like, man, it doesn't really seem like we've been in the right place at the right time this year. But, uh, you know, I talked to my crew chief and he says we're at the bottom of the wheel and, and that wheel is right here. It needs to come back around, come full circle. So, um, yeah, I don't know if we need to change anything. I don't know really if anything needs to be done. We have speed. It's just, we had just had, I don't like to compare it a lot, but it just, just wrong place and right time would be the definition of it this year. Okay, I understand. Well, thank you, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to take one final question, and we're going to go to Ashley McCubbin. Go ahead, Ashley. Hey, Noah, thanks for your time today. There's a lot of unique trophies across the sport, from guitars to the monster to the sword at Bristol. What's the most unique trophy that you have right now in your collection? Uh... I got a, I, I don't know. I I haven't won a ton of races, but I've won some pretty damn cool races. I know that. Uh, Martinsville, Bristol, Daytona, um, the Winchester 400. Um, Kansas is not a great trophy, but um, probably the Martinsville clock. That's a pretty, that's a pretty unique one. And in looking to expand the collection, what trophy would you like to add to the collection down the road? All of them. Uh, Dover. Uh, does Nashville still give the guitar? That'd be kind of cool. I like the unique ones. I wish we went to Iowa because Iowa had that gas pump. That one was pretty cool. Um, I mean, they're all cool. I, I want them all. <laughs> And then having the good run last um, couple of years ago there in mid-Ohio, how much does that boost the confidence going there and knowing that this is a road course you have lapped at before and have ran well at? Yeah, I think it's – I think just having that in the back of my mind is big. And our team, you know, we're – like I said earlier, we, we've had good speed and we've had good speed there in the past in particular. Um, and, and, you know, our confidence is still high despite how, how the season's gone so far. So, um you know, when you go to the racetrack, I don't know how you could not be happy. And uh, so I always have my held high, at least going to the racetrack and, uh, and knowing that I have a good opportunity. Uh, we start 13th this weekend, so I'm going to try and work up through the field. Um, if it's anything like last weekend, we were able to take a 23rd place car and drive up to second place with it um, at Charlotte. So, um, you know, I don't know exactly how it's going to be. But uh, I definitely feel confident in myself. I believe in myself. And if I don't believe in myself, nobody else will. So, um, you know, I got my head held high and ready to go with a lot of confidence. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. All right. Noah, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you.